Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Go So Beautiful. My name's Becky, and today I'm going to share a little pattern review and my so-called plans for Sew Maxi for Mother's Day. For those of you who are new to my channel, I appreciate you stopping by to check it out. I hope you'll um, find it interesting and encouraging and inspiring you to sew. And for those of you who have already subscribed, I really appreciate you coming back. It really, um, I love reading your comments and interacting with you. So um, keep coming back and um, I will try not to disappoint. All right, so what did I do this week? Well, I made a blouse for the Sew so April Blouse 22 Challenge hosted by Kristen from the Dahlia Society and I think it's Gabrielle from Cloth Edit. And I decided to make the Love Notions Rhapsody Blouse. I'll put a picture of the um, pattern up for you. And it comes in a um, very wide range of sizes. Um, I'll put that up on the screen as well. And I decided to make, um, use this lemon print rayon chalet um, because I thought it would be nice for a spring color. And it's a pretty, looks like a pretty easy make. However, there are some little things to consider when you're making this blouse. I made um, extra large, I believe. Um, as you can see, it's, it has a variety of sleeve options. I chose to make the flutter sleeve and um, you can or um, add ties to the neck or you can just make it um, without ties. And it has this little V-neck. And it really isn't tricky. It does have a back yoke with a pleat in the middle. And then it's attached to the front. Um, and it has some gathering at this shoulder seam. Now, putting it together was no problem. The difficulty was with the binding that goes around the neck edge. And I imagine you could purchase um, bias binding yourself, but I really wanted something that matched. And I believe in the pattern, it suggests that you make your own binding. And it suggested two widths. One was using strips that are one and a quarter inches wide, and then the other is strips that are one and three quarter inches wide. Well, I wanted narrow seam binding, so I chose the one and a quarter inch and used my little bias tape maker, um, which looks like, let me see if I have it here. I got a pack of four of these from Amazon and I think I used this yellow one. Anyway, making the bias tape was no problem. I applied it to the neck edge, sewing the right sides together, and then I folded it to the inside. And this was the part that gave me fits. Um, for some reason, my sewing machine didn't, well, it may need to be serviced, but the bobbin, the the underside of the stitching looked real kind of wavy, like the tension was out of whack. And I've tried adjusting tension on the bobbins before and it never works out. So, and plus the guy I take it to for repairs and service always says, don't ever worry about the bobbin tension. So the top looked fine, but the bottom looked wavy and I'll show you Here's a sample. I, I tried sewing several times and it almost looked like, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, 
But see how wavy that bobbin is? That bo that's the bobbin, the bottom of the stitching. And I switched sewing machines too. Here's, you can see it on that lemon. Um, it was just real wavy and I kept, so I kept unpicking it and taking it out. Not to mention the fact that it just, the edge just didn't turn over very well. So I think I unpicked it a total of four times, maybe five times. I'm pretty, uh, I guess I was a, being a little bit of a perfectionist. And not to mention that it, the thread, you know, got all, I got a bird's nest on the back of it. I'll show you a picture of that. And I thought, well, maybe I need to trim down the seam. So I started to trim down the seam and I cut a hole in the fabric, which made me even more mad. I should have just walked away, but no, I wanted to get it finished. So I just kind of stitched that up, the little hole. That's where it is. And I put a piece of interfacing on the back and you really can't notice it when I'm wearing it. So after all that, it did come out look very nice. I think it's a little bit long on me, but it feels really um, drapey and just a nice summer top to wear. Um, here's a picture of me wearing it. I am entering it in the So April Blouse 22, <coughs> hosted on Instagram, and um, we'll see if it wins. But I will make this blouse again. I think it's um, it's a nice pattern and it's pretty easy to sew. So that was probably what I worked on two or three days this week. Um, anyway, I started thinking about another challenge that's coming up called Sew Maxi for Mother's Day, hosted by T from Tumpet, Tumpet's Korean Sewing. <laughs> Tump, I can't say it. Crumpets, tea, and sewing, and Crystal from Crystal Sews and Stuff. And I had an idea in my head, but I don't know. I just, I think I've lost a little bit of my motivation to sew um, because I've done some back-to-back -back challenges now. And, but the idea is to sew a, a bold, Make a statement with either statement sleeves, ruffles, collar, or a maxi dress. I believe it said Dr dresses and skirts need to be maxi. Or you can have a bold print fabric. Well, I've got a bold print fabric and a maxi. Although I'm not crazy about the idea of making a maxi dress because I don't know how often I'll be able to wear that. Anyway. I thought I would use this fabric, which I got last year from Melanated Fabrics. It's really pretty, and I believe it's a rayon poplin, or yeah, it's not shally, but I was afraid it was going to be like the print was going to be too big, and I read somewhere that petite women should not wear bold prints, but you know. I don't have to follow the rules and this print isn't that bold anyway. So here are the pattern choices I have. This first one, I could make either view either the maxi dress or I could make a little jumpsuit. This is McCall's M7778 and I really like this maxi dress here but I also think that this jumpsuit might look cute too um, so that's one idea <coughs> I'm not sure well I just think I don't know how often I would wear this I probably would wear it when we go to the beach the other pattern I've picked is probably too small for me, but I thought maybe I could enlarge it. It's M7381, and I like this view, view D, which is a maxi dress. 
and it's sleeveless and it's got a pretty little twist in the front I think or maybe it's a tie it's a tie actually here are the line drawings and um, I think that would look pretty in that print and maybe be a little more wearing wearable I didn't show you the line drawings on the other one there's the line drawings for that one this is the jumpsuit pattern then I have this Simplicity S9265 and I would probably have to make the sleeveless version here because I only have three yards of fabric which I don't even know if that's enough for the maxi dress now that I think about it but the only thing I'm hesitant about this is I don't really like sewing those tiers that's the line drawings there and then these last two dresses are indie patterns. This is called Serendipity Studio. And if I made one of these, I'd probably have to get a fabric that contrasts with it. But I really kind of like that style. I think the waist would suit me well. And um, I like the detail around the neckline although at this point I don't want to do anything that's too complicated another oh uh, this is serendipity studio I don't know if I said that and this is the Madeline dress and then the final one is this another serendipity studio pattern called the Naomi dress and I have made this one before in a short version. Um, the only thing I would probably omit would be this little detail in the, under the, um, at the waist or the empire waist. It's got a little kind of semi-circle, which isn't hard to make. I just don't think it's necessary. I would probably just put a straight band, but that's another option too and I probably again would have to buy some kind of contrast to go with it I was thinking maybe if I could find some red and white just plain red and white polka dot that might go well with this so anyway I've um, not real sure if I want to I really kind of want to participate but I'm a little low on motivation and energy these days <laughs> I'm not sure why but with my son having a baby in the next week or two um, I'm a little bit distracted and I just don't know if I'm gonna get it done I think I should maybe stick to some simple projects so maxi for another's day will come back next year I'm very sure but we'll see anyway let me know what you think in the comments if you have a pattern that you think this fabric would look the best in. Uh, I think I'll put a, a voting section in my community tab, um, but you can also leave a comment and um, let me know what you think. Are you all participating in Sew Maxi for Mother's Day or the Sew April Blouse Challenge? Let me know in the comments. I'd really love to hear from you. Again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks again for watching. I hope you'll have a great weekend. Go so beautiful. Bye-bye.